Hello everybody and welcome to a sheepish look at Hob. My name is Gena and today we're playing an action RPG game that kind of resembles a bit of Bastion, a bit of Prince of Persia, uh, a little bit of Zelda, and in a few fights, Dark Souls. Uh, so far I'm loving it. It's by the devs who brought us Torchlight. I have not played that game yet, but I've heard good things. But uh, yeah, this is great. <laughs> I mean, it's even it's way better than I was expecting, honestly. Um, I knew I'd have fun, but it's just a really full-fledged adventure. It feels great in every single aspect. First of all, the aesthetic, as you can tell, obviously that's um, that's personalized to each individual player. But I really enjoy it. It's a very simplistic kind of thing, but it just it feels so good even when you walk through the grass. Like look <laughs> look at that effect. It's so nice, and uh, you can even cut down those blades like this. Ooh, a berry. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna eat it even though it was in wild grass. But yeah, I mean, the game feels great. So, this is on Steam, but I'm playing with a controller. The devs recommend playing with a controller as well. It is totally possible to play, as you can see the mouse here. You can play with keyboard, but uh, it's not recommended. It feels a lot smoother with a controller. So, uh, you've got a jump attack. Uh, I mean, you can, you've got a jump, you can attack, you've also got a jump attack. You can also use your fist. And uh, you'll unlock other moves, such as this warp, for example. And you can use that in certain places to traverse. So, uh, yeah, as you play through the game, you'll unlock kind of new abilities. There's all sorts of collectibles, as you can see here on the left side. So you've got here, I believe this is to upgrade my sword. I've got all parts, and I'm going to try to upgrade it within this video. We'll see what that is. This, I have not figured out yet. This, uh, you get through plants, and it'll increase your maximum health bar. And this, you use uh, to upgrade your stamina or energy. And you use your stamina to dodge. Um, you use it to warp, you use it to do that charged punch that I did earlier. So you use it for quite a few things. And uh, oh, you can also extend a shield using this fist. But I purchased all these, well not all of these, I purchased for example the shield. And uh, yeah, you earn like XP from or killing certain types of enemies and basically there's all sorts of collectibles and they all serve their own purpose. And it, it's really satisfying, there's a lot of exploration involved. So um, if you just kind of keep going down the beaten path, you're probably going to start struggling a little bit. Uh, you know, you'll do less combos because you didn't purchase new moves, stuff like that. But if you really explore, you'll get like health upgrades and all that. So yeah, you can see, and the great, the, the, the game does a really great job. I mean, first of all, it's open world, right? So you've got this huge open world here, and uh, it looks like a lot more is going to be unlocked. But there's also like small dungeons within where you solve puzzles and stuff. Uh, but the game does a really great job at connecting every single area you go through. So you kind of complete a dungeon, and uh, you just quickly get out of it. Like a new shortcut will unlock, or you unlock an ability along the way. Along the, along the way. Uh, to kind of get through it faster and stuff like that. A lot of games do it, but this game does it in a really great way. It even connects the open worlds. Uh, yeah, you can see, you can just click and uh, enjoy the scenery. Honestly, the only main problem I've had with the game has been optimization. I'm running the game now at medium graphics, and you can still see there's like frame drops constantly. Even when I'm not recording, even when my software is closed, all that stuff. It, I don't know, I think it needs a lot of optimization. Oh uh, yeah, you can see here the battling. It's pretty simplistic. It does resemble Bastion, in my opinion. Like, for smaller enemies like this, it's pretty much just like a button masher. Uh, you can, you know, dodge stuff like that. You can use your fist if you want to. You know, and it, it feels really good to kill stuff. Uh, but with bigger enemies, I mean, like, there's... I found, like, some big troll dude who uh, would pretty much one-hit kill me instantly. And uh, I had to, like, dodge. Uh, I wasn't blocking because I'm not sure, actually, if the blocks would have... Uh, saved me from those attacks. But yeah, that was the kind of stuff that I was talking about where it's a little bit Dark Souls-y at times when you get bigger enemies. Uh, but I mean, you know, don't go into the game hoping for that kind of combat because it's not really like the the main focus of the game. So you can see I just found this is basically just a hidden chest and you can see those are what I was calling XP. Uh, so you use those to buy new abilities, buy new costumes, uh, stuff like that. The costumes I've not unlocked one yet, but uh, I, I unlocked the blueprints to be able to purchase one, and it's pretty interesting. Like it changes your look, obviously, but also it I think increased your speed, but in decreased your health and energy. So um, it's like there's different types of playstyles, which I really do appreciate. Uh, the game also does um, a pretty good job at teaching you very intuitively. There's never like on screen press X to attack and stuff like that. It just kind of teaches you all this stuff. Uh, but I did not know that there was a sprint button until a long time, so <laughs> there you go. And there's also a lock-on button if you click in the right stick with the controller. So you can see this guy's going to be a little bit harder than the other guys I was fighting. I'm going to try to avoid his attacks. And uh, I love that there is friendly fire amongst enemies. See, I mean, that guy isn't that tough, but, you know, I had to be a little bit more careful than these kind of smaller dudes. He'll drop some XP, drop a little bit of health for me. One uh, ma kind of bad design, uh, a design flaw I noticed at some point was the previous area I was in. <laughs> oh, that was way too close. That's pretty badass though. Hang on, let me do this. Mm! 
feels good. <laughs> uh, and by the way, the, the game is doing a pretty good job at kind of spicing up enemies constantly. You're fighting new stuff as you play through. It's really cool. Uh, but yeah, the previous area I was in, there was this like small robot that you find. And it's like, oh, it's a little cute little ball. And then um, if you don't kill it, it takes like three hits to kill. You can very easily kill it. If you don't kill it, it'll go and call a bigger robot to come and fight you, right? So ideally, you would think that like, oh, I need to kill this thing before. Next time I see it, I'm going to kill it before it calls in the big robots, right? Because obviously you want to avoid the big fight. But killing those small guys does not yield any XP. Whereas letting them bring in the robots and then you kill the big robots, that does give you XP. And these robots will not respawn, the small ones or the big ones. So um, I found myself letting them go and call the bigger guys because I want the XP, I want to upgrade. So yeah, that's like, it's a really small detail that I'm sure probably not even a lot of players would have even noticed it. But it's something that I noticed and kind of bugged me. Um, and also climbing ladders is a little bit strange at times. Not terrible at all, by any means, but just it could have been slightly more smooth. Like if the ladder is, uh, let's call this column the ladder, uh, and I jump at it like this, I'm going to have to hold up to climb as opposed to holding right to climb, which in uh, some better games, uh, both would work. Um, but yeah, that's that's really not a big deal. It's just, you know, that's a small little, a little nagging issue that I had a few times. By the way, look at this little flower creature, it's cute. There's a lot of really nice character design in this game, enemies and, uh, you know, friendlies. Okay, so I'm going to try to come up here. Uh, I don't see a ladder or something that I can climb up. Aha! Okay, yes! There's the parkour! <laughs> yeah, it's cool. There is a little bit of platforming every now and again. And uh, there's a, sometimes you like scale a wall and then jump to the next wall. I realize that there's a path on the left side. That looks like the secret one, so I'm going to go there first. Uh, but yeah, sometimes you'll like jump from vine to vine, and it, it really does feel Prince of Persia-esque. It's, it's really satisfying and fun. Okay, there you go. There's there's the vine ladder that I was talking about. So, uh, okay, this is just a secret place for a chest. Okay, I was hoping for a more permanent upgrade, like a health upgrade or something like that. But this will do. I'm happy with this. I actually haven't upgraded my character in ages. I can't wait to get back to base and do that. Whoa! Okay, so these guys... Um, okay, no, these guys have like a... Okay, he's got a wooden shield you can see there. Um, it seems I can't get through it with my normal sword, so I'm going to try and charge up my fist. Nope, he hit me instead. Come on. Mm, there you go, and you break it. So I love that. That's really satisfying. There's also some other characters who are like, they have stone armor and stone shields, and you can't get through that until you do that charged pun uh, punch. And they roll around as well and uh, attack you. And sometimes if you make them bump into each other, then um, <laughs> they can break each other's armor. It's really cool. All right, is my sword not cool enough for this door? No, it is? Nice. I just love this. I, it's so pleasant. It really feels like an old-school adventure, like a Zelda game where you kind of just like, you progress and you're really getting somewhere. Now, um, I should point out that so far there hasn't really been any story in the game. Uh, I mean, there's been a little bit of narrative when it comes to like, character interaction. Like, you have this other big statue kind of friend who uh, you occasionally interact with. I've, I do feel motivated to continue and do stuff. But, uh, yeah, so far there hasn't really been any story, like... I don't really see the big picture of why I'm doing everything, you know? Alright. <laughs> Is this gonna be some story stuff? Hang on. Yeah, looking at the achievement that I just received, it says, activated a lore room. So that's pretty funny, <laughs> right when I was saying that the game doesn't have any story, uh, it does that. Although, to be fair, I don't really understand anything from this. It's quite, uh, it reminds me of Journey, not only because of the red hooded character that I'm playing, but uh, yeah, you kind of received lore sometimes through hieroglyphics and stuff like that. I'm assuming it's going to start making a little bit more sense when I find some more later on. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, so far the strength of the game, I should just say, is not the story, but... Um, yeah, it's still existent to a certain degree, but not the strength of the game, not the main reason you'd play it. Alright, so now I'm done with that secret path, let's go over here, and... Oh, yeah. And we're in a new biome, okay, we've got yellow grass now instead of green grass. These are checkpoints, pretty self-explanatory. Okay, and I think this is a perfect time to show you the teleportations. So, um, teleportations? Teleportation capsules, let's call them. So yeah, I've unlocked three so far, and they allow you to teleport throughout the map. Pretty simplistic. I'm gonna teleport to my place. Uh, this is my my home, my sanctuary, where I can uh, finally upgrade my character. I've been saving up all this stuff for so long, I cannot wait. 
Look at look at how nice and cozy this place is. So uh, over here is where you go to unlock to to equip your costumes. I don't have any currently, but I will show you right now in a second. This is where you can come and spend your XP, is what I like to call it, or this green stuff, whatever. Uh, so you can see here, Sprite Cloak. Boosts speed, but reduces health and energy. So I'm assuming that's in your costume, it looks like it anyway. Uh, these are my purchase things, so I had to purchase the summoning a shield uh, from your arm. I'm not gonna, I don't need improved rolling dodge currently. Powerful sprinting attack seems interesting, and increased punch damage. Sure, let's, let's get both of those, honestly. And uh, yeah, you'll, you have to find these new blueprints throughout the world. Uh, they're kind of basically secrets. So yeah, the game really does reward you for exploration. So now I'm gonna try and c come put my sword fragments into here. And I should get a new sword, or at least a sword upgrade I would assume. There you go, I filled it up. And, here we go. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to throw your entire sword in there, dude. Oh yeah. Looks the same. Looks kinda like a keyblade now. <laughs> Alright. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's got the, like little those key bits at the end now. Well, it doesn't say anywhere like I don't have any new moves with my sword or anything. <laughs> A little bit disappointed. I'm assuming my only assumption now is I need these for the lore doors uh, because you saw there was like a silhouette I had to put my sword in. So maybe some of them will require these like key teeth. And uh, yeah, there you go. Or maybe it does a little bit of extra damage. I'm not sure. It's not really communicated well, is it? Alright, so now let's get to a little bit more gameplay. Probably just to finish off the video. So, up there, that's a shortcut I'm gonna unlock later on. So, we're just gonna go down here. There, you do take fall damage, by the way, so you do need to be careful where you go. Okay, these are new enemy types. Can I kill it? Wait, let's get a little bit. Oh, that tentacle hurt. Alright, let's try to get this one instead. Do you hear these sounds? That's not creepy at all. <laughs> Alright, get away from me, tentacles. Alright. Oh, okay. We got a big dude here. Not that big. I've seen bigger. Mm, easy peasy. This place, yeah, pretty much whenever you go to a new area, you'll feel a little bit overwhelmed. There's so many places to go, but it's all gonna start making so much sense as you go through. Like, you'll just unlock shortcuts, you'll unlock new, like, vehicle. Uh, like, at, at some point I drove a vehicle that was kind of going around and accessing nodes and starting up power, and you unlock new shortcuts and you find new secret areas. It's, it's like, there's constantly new stuff in the game. Pretty much in every single aspect, you're always doing new stuff, and I really, really appreciate that. Uh, that looks like a dead end. A deadly dead end. Alright, what's over here? Okay, and I think I just unlocked a shortcut to the previous area. Yep, alright, great. <laughs> uh, so far the difficulty of puzzles has been pretty good. A, a pretty good slope so far. It started off decently easy and then got progressively like, oh, I need to think a little bit. I'm not sure, I can't tell you how hard the later ones are gonna be. I'm hoping they do improve uh, they do continue escalating a little bit because it's been pretty fun and rewarding so far. But yeah, I, I really like the balance so far. It's pretty pretty good. Uh, okay, there you go. This looks like it's going to be a little bit of a puzzle here. Okay, I mean, I'm just going to move this part and then I'm going to turn on the switch and it'll release those things and I can jump on them. Alright, see? But like step by step, it kind of teaches you everything. I really like it. Alright, let's not fail this. Huh! Alright. <laughs> I was a bit paranoid I'd fall there. Nice. It looks great. I love the world that we're in here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Any machine that you get to activate by super punching is awesome. Oh, let's just awkwardly wait for my stamina to recharge. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I think I'll end the video here. So, overall, I'm really enjoying the game. I think this is definitely one that I'm gonna finish through to the end. Uh, off camera, it's just it's so it's so good. There's a there's a really good balance between uh, you've got puzzles and you've got a good combat section and platforming. Exploration feels rewarding with all the different types of upgrades. The aesthetic is great. Uh, music there isn't much of it, but it seems pretty nice so far. When you've uh, from what I've heard, and yeah, I really like it. I mean, the only thing that's really lacking is just a super in-depth story. Uh, it's just it's not so in your face. Again, it's like Journey, where it's kind of just kind of. Um, scattered throughout and I guess you're gonna find pieces of it through those lore rooms but uh, yeah I haven't had any trouble finding a drive to go through the game anyway I still feel kind of motivated through the small interactions and characters and stuff like that but yeah overall really cool game please don't forget to like and share the video if you enjoyed it if you want to pick up the game for yourself there is a link in the description as always to buy it thank you once again for watching and goodbye I love you